Hello, hello, Ederson Oliver here. This is the Dean and Tip of the Week, and today I'll be talking about a module called Open Content. This is a module that was created by Sasha Trowen, and the objective of this module is to make editors' life easier when dealing with uh, content on DNN. We can create templates using this module, and that will help content managers to not have to mess around too much with HTML. And what you're going to be doing today in this video is just an intro. I really like the module, but we can only go as, you know, not too far within the five minutes scope. That's the usual the scope of those videos that the end tip of the week. So it's just a quick intro. I'm going to show how to you know, use the module to add in articles or blog type of feature to your websites. I hope you like it. I hope you enjoy. Have a look. Before I tell you about the Dean and Tip of the Week, I want to bring to your attention our sponsor, Manage.com. Why do I have them as a sponsor? Because I use them, because I trust them, because I have been running my business on their hosting environment for over seven years now. I trust them. I have used other providers, but at the end of the day, I go back to them because of their support level and their technical abilities as well. Let me tell you, no other support, no other hosting provider out there will call you on the phone to give you the status update of your ticket. Nobody will do that. And I get that from Manage.com. That's what differentiates them. It's not only the technical side, which they are very good as well, the best one in the DNA space and beyond that, but they are also very good when it comes to support, when it comes to the personal touch. So my, my recommendation to you is host with them. You will not get disappointed. They have good rates and great, great, awesome support. That's it. Let's go back to our tip of the week. Okay, so our goal today is to have open content being used on our DNA website for an article feature. So, first thing, we have our DNN website, 911 here. I'm going to create quickly a new page called Articles. The page has been added, and now we're going to have to install open content, which can be downloaded from CodePlex. And by the way, CodePlex is shutting down, so at some point, I assume that open content, the installation of open content will also move to GitHub. But from GitHub, I was not able to get the installation package of open content. So I had to use the one from CodePlex. So from here, very simple, just download the zip file, install it as you install any other module on DNN. No difference here. As usual, make sure that when you download a zip file that will be installed, you right click on the zip file, you go to properties and you make sure that you unblock the zip file before you install. So I'm just going to go to the site and install it. Again, nothing special here, just a regular DNN module installation. So all done here. I'm going to go to the page now. It's already in edit mode. I'm just going to keep click again to make sure it stays in edit mode. I'm going to add a new module and I'm going to just type in open content. Okay, so I'm just going to drag it over to a place here in my page. And from here, this is the default questions that it asks as soon as you add the module to a page. So by default, you actually see already the template, the articles template selected here, which is coming from an external website. You actually have quite a few options in terms of templates that you can use out of the box with open content. You just have to select one and Confirm. That's it. So I'm going to keep the one that I have selected here. I'm going to change it, the template name. I'm just going to call it articles or my articles. I'm just going to save this. Now I'm going to go to template settings just to set up the uh, a few a few options that it comes out of the box with. I don't actually need to do that. I can just come here, save and close. And then from here, I can go in edit content. So I can start to create my articles from here. I'm just gonna start entering my article. I copied some test thing here. I'm just gonna add a title. I'm gonna add a summary here that I have copied. I'm gonna add a description, which is the long form article. And I'm gonna add 
the main image as well, which I have flower one here. I'm also going to add an image gallery to it. So you can add multiple images at once and you can select them to visualize. So I'm going to upload multiple and here you have, let's upload these five images. Perfect. Selected everything. And there are some additional information that you could add, like the slug, which is the URL for this article, some meta tags you can add as well, but I'm just going to save this as is. Now you can also see that the URL is uh, a friendly URL. It has a title in the URL. You can go to the icon and you can edit this article or you can add more content. You can add categories. You can add tags. You can do a bunch of things here with the settings. You can potentially modify the template, switch, switch template. You can add more fields to the article if you want using the for builder, you can edit template files. If you want to modify the files, you can do that here. You know? So simple HTML, which is also using handlebars as the, the templating engine behind it. And you have the different templates here. Again, all yours and open for you to modify as you see fit. Right now, the detail of the article is coming from the same page, but you can definitely create a separate page so you can put the details on a on another page, on another URL if you want to do so. So that's it. That's how you can put up very quickly an article's type of feature on your website using open content with a template that comes out of the box. If you like this DNN tip of the week and don't want to miss out anyone, subscribe.